The nights are drawing in. That can only mean one thing. It's back to school. And what could be better than curry and a classic dessert to keep you going on these dreary September days and nights? So let's take a look. Today I'm on a mission to buy Irish produce in Uxbridge, specifically at Sainsbury's. Now I know that they do have an Irish department here, um, but I want to buy more than just biscuits, chocolate and cake. So I will be scouring the other aisles as well. Let's see what I find. section itself um, I couldn't find anything else from from Ireland and Sainsbury's today who knows why anyway this is what I did get I managed to pick up some Barry's tea it's always good to have some Barry's tea in the house I think uh, Paul picked up he found a Ballymaloe steak sauce so he's going to be using that now I know you can buy Cadbury's chocolate just about anywhere but there's something special about the Irish made and especially the, the Golden Crisp, that's my favourite one. Um, one thing I didn't get before uh, from the Irish section is uh, packet soup. This is oxtail from Erin. But my go-to, every time I go to Sainsbury's and go to the Irish section, is to pick up McDonald's Original Curry Sauce. It says, as Irish as. So I think that's the one I'm going to cook with today. So out of all the Irish ingredients that I bought, I decided to make a curry. So we've got McDonald's, the original curry sauce, and it's from Drogheda in County Meath. Um, it's a really easy one to make. Um, all the ingredients are fairly simple to prepare, which is good for me. So basically we start off with half a can of the curry powder and I've already measured it out into this bowl. So we're going to so the sauce is now simmering away in the background. So we're now going to prepare our meat and veg. I've already cut up um, 900 grams of chicken. Now you don't have to use chicken, you could use beef, you could use pork, but I prefer chicken in my curry. In fact, well, you could use fish, you could use lamb, anything at all. Chicken's my, my go-to. Um, adding to that, I've got, you can use an onion, but I'm using a shallot. And that's your shallot for today, so we'll see you next time. Now, um, I've got some shallots from New Zealand. I didn't get to go to New Zealand last year, but I was able to pick up some New Zealand shallots and Sainsbury's. So there you go, holiday sorted. Um, one red pepper and also a, a handful or a cupful of frozen peas. In this case, it's Petit Pois. See, you didn't know I could speak French either. So we're now going to add all these into the wok. You could use a large frying pan. I prefer to use a wok because it gives me more space to work with. Well, you know, I'm quite messy in the kitchen and stuff gets chucked all over the place. So it's less likely to fall out of a wok. Let's take a wok. So I've heated the wok a little bit uh, already before I do anything. And I'm going to add about a teaspoonful of oil. In this case, it's nut oil, peanut oil. Come on, there we go. Maybe a, a tablespoonful rather than a teaspoonful. That's about enough, I think. I'm always add more later. Oh, look at that. Smoke coming off it, and that's what we want because when we add the chicken in, we want it to start sizzling immediately. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Yeah. Quite a 
get it all in, I'm just going to very quickly wash my hands. So I want this to be nicely browned and that's why I'm not going to start tossing it all around to start with. We want to get it cooked, uh, you know, the whole way around. If I keep tossing it all around then it's not going to cook properly. So it's been cooking for about half a minute and now I'm just going to turn it once. All of it and you can see already all that lovely brown there. Quite difficult to actually get each bit round, but I'm gonna do my best. And in any case, we will make sure that it is all properly cooked through before we add the rest of the ingredients. So I'm now going to add just a little bit of seasoning, some pepper, just to help it along. So chicken's now cooked. But what we're going to do, rather than add all the veg to the pan, we're going to transfer the chicken into the bowl that was in before, which has been thoroughly washed. I'll be making basmati rice to go with Marcus's chicken curry. First things first, there is a cup of basmati rice. This is from the bag. So now I'm going to wash it in order to get rid of any starch materials. So now I am boiling the rice in the pot, in the pan. And once it comes to a boil, then I will put the lid on it and then lower the, the fire to a really small amount. I'll show you in a bit. Now that the water is almost all boiled away, it's time to lower the heat and stick on the lid. This will help Finish the cooking process in about 10 minutes time. I've drained off all the excess liquid from the chicken. I've added the shallots and the pepper, but I'm gonna hold off adding the peas until the end because they don't really require much cooking. In fact, um, you, you could eat the peas raw if you wanted. Okay, I'm now going to add the chicken back into the wok. It's a bit at a time, I'm not going to dump it all in because there's still some excess liquid in here and I also don't want to get scalded by any excess splashes. So the sauce has been simmering away while we've been making the rest of the curry. So I can turn that off now and we're now going to add the sauce into the wok. And at this point we'll add the peas as well. Ooh, every single last one. Ooh, look at the colours. Lovely. So this is how cooked basmati rice should look like. So the rice is... So the rice isn't that sticky. You don't see any... um clumps, you don't see any gooeyness. It's all thoroughly cooked and nice and fluffy. Mmm, smells good too. Mmm. Perfect to go with the curry we just made. Bon appetit! Wow! Wow, that's quite a curry, don't you think? Mm, mm, mm. Let's talk in. Mmm. Delicious. 
And the best thing about it is, because all the meat and everything's all cut up already, I don't even need to use a knife. Because of course, as you know, I don't know how to use one, so it's a win-win situation. Mmm. Oh wow. This is good. I love curries and wow. I think I'm gonna eat this all like in one sitting or one standing. Mmm. Lovely. Now, don't forget to subscribe. We're going back to my childhood, back to school, Angel Delight. Now, I only realised it's still available about a year ago um, when I was going through a lot of reminiscing um, about days gone by. So I picked it up and absolutely loved it. It's so easy to make. All you need is 300 mils of chilled, semi-skimmed milk and then you get whisking. So let's get whisking! Going to keep um, mixing it all nicely together until it's light and creamy. So once you're happy with your mixture and you're sure you've got no lumps or anything in it, then you just leave it for five minutes at room temperature to thicken. This looks about ready. So to serve it, you could just eat it out of a, a regular bowl or whatever, but I'm just going to be a little bit fancy and I'm going to use a couple of wine glasses. Now it can be eaten straight away, but I like to think it tastes a bit better uh, when it's chilled. Um, so we, were, we will put it into the fridge and I'm also going to garnish it with some frozen uh, summer fruits. I've got raspberry, uh, blueberry and blackberry I think. Or was it a strawberry? How many? It's, it's nice colourful fruits. Uh, this is, of course, a strawberry angel delight, so... I think that's about even. There's a tiny bit left that's not going to end up in the glass. It's going to end up in my mouth right now. Mmm! Oh my goodness! It is delicious and it takes me back to my childhood. Um, okay, so let's garnish with our selection of lovely summer fruits. Super! So there we go, look at that! Absolutely delicious. We'll have those chilled later on tonight. Well, the sun's come out, thank goodness. 
<laughs> um, that curry was delicious and Angel Delight, well it takes me back to school days. It is September after all. So um, where are we on Tuesday, Paul? We're off to Reading. Indeed we are. It's the city of the future. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.